Hey guys, new flash shells are up. Still plenty of time to pick them up, so let's take a quick look. First one up is Gunpoint, 40% off, which takes it down to 5 euros 99, 5 dollars 99, or 4 pounds 19. This is a stealth action 2D game, and with like really cute and simple graphics. The the twist of this stealth game is like is the uh, the agent has like this special vision, which shows him the various electronic devices in the building he's trying to get through, and he can remotely hack them using um, the mechanics from like the Incredible Machine. So you can't like uh, hack the camera directly, but you have to use various objects which are linked together to get to the, this camera or lights or whatever. This is very nice mechanic, uh, fairly fairly new. I haven't seen anything like this before. Se seems like a great game. The only problem I have read about is that it's, it is really like short, but at just like 6 euros it's, I don't think it's a problem if it's just a few hours long, if it's a good game, which it seems to be. So yeah, if you like the idea, pick it up. Next one up is Let for the 2, 3 euros 49, 4 dollars 99, or 3 pounds for 74. This is a first person online survival game. It's very much like uh, the Dead Island. Riptide from the Daily Deal, but uh, it's not open world. It is uh, purely just online co-op game. You have like these short stories, series of maps you have to go through and help each other out to get to the end. Um, the improvements from the original Left 4 Dead are, new, of course, new maps. If although some of them are reused and a new new team of guys. It's really not worth buying the first game because most people are playing the second one which is already like 4 years old, so pick up uh, just the second one. This is a very nice price for a lot of fun online. Yeah. The next one up is uh, LEGO The Lord of the Rings, 75% off, which takes it down to €7.49, $7.49 or £4.99. This is uh, like a third person action slash platformer slash puzzle game. The Obviously the characters are all like minifigs from Lego and a lot of the stuff, but not all of it is like the horses are Lego, but you can see some of the stuff is not Lego. Yeah, this is like every single one of the Lego games, even though it sounds like very for like kids. I had a great fun playing all of them. Like there's this like theme of great games. So I greatly recommend this one or any of them if they pop up on the sale. They are like for all the latest and greatest series like Star Wars, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, all of them are really fantastic games. Uh, the puzzle part is, of course, it's apart from the heavy platforming, you have, you find like this, these bricks lying around, and you have to. It, it's not like you are constructing the items, but you just using one button, your character will throw them on a pile and construct the item to continue. Yeah, I really like this game. This is a nice price. It's like, I think, the latest one of the LEGO series. The only flaw, and I think it wasn't remedied in this game either, is that there is no online co-op mode. It is only local, just like on consoles, so bear this in mind, it's just local co-op. I think co-op is really funny and great fun, but the lack of online co-op is really what takes this game down for perfection. The next one up is War of the Roses Kingmaker 75% and of which takes it down to 4 euros 99, 4 dollars 99 or 3 pounds 74. 
This is a, like a team-based first-person medieval online competitive game. Yeah, it's a month about for. It is uh, very much like uh, Chivalry, which was on deal, I think, yesterday or the day before that. It's much more realistic. I th I would say the graphics are much better than the Chivalry, but uh, for me the pure fun of like quake-like experience of the Chivalry is much more fun than uh, War of the Roses, which is like the taking itself really serious. The combat style is slightly different. You don't like mesh, just uh, several buttons for different attacks. You have to like swing the weapon in the right direction to use it to decapitate an enemy. It keeps the gruesome deaths from the chivalry, so you won't miss this aspect of the game of you being impaled repeatedly with a knife to finally finish you off. So yeah, this is a very nice prize. So if you like the idea, if you don't like Chivalry or want another game like that, pick it up. Next one up is The Walking Dead. It was on the, the some of the deals already, 75% off, which takes it down to six euros 24, six dollars 24 or five pounds 24. Uh, the game is the community choice, but the timing is the same as the flash sale, so yeah. This is an adventure game, basically Telltale is about the only one releasing adventure game this time, except for like the Sherlock Holmes game, which is something other uh, than this one, it's like the high production value. These games are fairly long, all of the Telltale games are released in chapters, but in the end you can buy the whole game just like The Walking Dead now, all the chapters are already released, so you can play it through the whole game, you don't have to wait like months for another chapter, so this is a great thing. The game is full of hard decisions, like these yeah, life-changing decisions for many of the characters, you have to decide which one to let die basically, or which one to keep and let the other one like walk away pissed off so yeah this decisions weigh heavily on you especially because the story is so great it's n the story itself has nothing to do with the, like the tv show it's a completely different story but nonetheless a great story for some maybe even better uh, there is a new standalone DLC, The Walking Dead for Harder Days. It is not discounted because it was released like uh, a week ago. Yeah, it's more of the same with a different group of people. Another great adventure game. So if you enjoy Walking Dead, pick it up right now or wait for us in an inevitable sale. So yeah, that was today's daily deal. Oh, uh, the flesh sales and the community's choice. Uh, and once again, guys, if you like the content, please like the video, favorite the video, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. So, yeah. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.